This is Juliana Ranikar-Breeze, and this is part two of my conversation with uh, Renata, uh, who is an expert in um, sculpture, African sculpture. And, and art. And art, right. Now tell me how all this started. Uh, you went first to, was it Rhodesia? No, no first to Nigeria. To Nigeria. Yes. And what, what's the name of the well, place? Well, I, I ended up in Oshokbo, which is a town sort of... Um, two or three hours uh, from, away from Lagos. Right. And, and why did you go there? Well, it was mentioned in my Lonely Planet Guide. Oh. It. I mean, of course, first I visited members of the family we had in Lagos and so on. Right. And that was Your lovely. husband's uh, my family. My husband's family, yes. Right. And my daughter was with me and uh, lots of cousins. And, and one of the cousins, she took it upon herself to come round with us. Damola is her name. Okay. And she stayed with us and acted as our guide. But sometimes it was us who guided her. Okay. Because she didn't know so much about the, um, the Nigerian art of batik. And, oh, batik, and adire yes. that was produced in Oshokbo. And she was all fond of the, the new fangled clothes that were imported from, from France and UK. Okay, and okay. Synthetic materials okay. that she had her clothes made from. But when she saw these outfits made from this blue and white adire... Is she, that what you're no, wearing no, now? No, it is a batik, but that's actually not, happens to be not from Nigeria. I hadn't realised we were going it, to it's very film attractive. this, otherwise I would have worn... A Nigerian outfit, but this one is from Senegal. But never mind. Oh, but it's still uh, from Africa. It is still from Africa. Yeah. Right. So we we went to Oshokbo, and I should say I'm not an, an expert in African art uh, um, per se. Only of this particular art from Oshokbo and okay. the sculptures from Zimbabwe. Okay. So so we went out to this town, which was mentioned in my Lonely Planet guide, and okay. it said that a woman called Susanne Venga was had created. <clears throat> this so-called sacred groves to Oshokobo, a, a, a sculpture garden. She was an Austrian artist uh -huh. and it was a fantastic place. She um, had taken it upon herself. And what was her name again? Susanne Wenger. Okay. An Austrian woman. And okay. she, um, she had recreated uh, shrines to Europa gods and goddesses and they were made out of cement, and, but with a covering of clay. So you can imagine in these humid conditions that you get in Africa, she had to forever come in with more clay uh -huh. and to, to keep repairing them. But they yeah. were wonderful creations in a sort of like surrealist style. I mean, she came from uh, from Austria where they maybe uh, even at the end, um, I don't know whether she might have been even part of the so-called degenerate art in in the during the Nazi period, but maybe... Maybe not, but it's that she type of She was an older art. lady. She was, but, oh yeah, she wasn't that old. Uh, but she was certainly one of the modernists in, in the European sense. Okay. And she translated these modernists' ideas onto these sculptures while still retaining the spiritual belief of these Yoruba gods and goddesses. She became a... Um, oh, Yoruba, yes. Yes, yes. She she became a priestess of one of these cults, oh, actually. okay. And she went as local, as, as it was called then. She yes. got married to... She was first uh, married to somebody called Uli Bayer, and he's a very important person. Okay. But later on, she married a Yoruba um, um, man, a drummer, I think, and she became a priestess. So very interesting atmosphere in this whole time. Uh, now, uh, uh, would they have uh, the same gods like Imanja? And uh, do they have Orishas? That oh, they, they have, have Orishas, in... right? Yes. You and see, they, and I... these gods uh, and these beliefs were taken to abroad. Yeah, taken to Brazil, to Brazil, absolutely, and, and, and Cuba. Yeah, yeah. And there's but, an annual festival. As slaves. Yes, there's an annual festival, the Oshun festival. Yes, which takes place usually in September. It depends on the oracle, and uh, and many people from Brazil and so on from the diaspora they come over to celebrate oh. there. And Brilliant. Uh, 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 okay. But you mean Brazilians of Yoruba of origin? Yoruba descent, yes. Okay. Yes. How interesting. Yes. yes, yes. So it's a very lively town and there's yes. lots of artists there. Ah. And uh, the reason why I mentioned Uli Bayer is he was a German and he and Susanne Wenger went out there and he was attached to the university. And um, he was his funding allowed him to have sort of extra mural um, activities. And there was a um, in the nearby town of Ibada, and there was a, a theatre club that he became involved oh. with. And out of this, visual arts started. Um, an artist by the name of Jacob Lawrence, who's got an exhibition at the British Museum at the moment, he came over and 
Where taught. was he from? He was from America, from black American. Yes, and um, he came over and ran a workshop. But on the whole, what they did there, they realized these people had talent and often there were school leavers that they didn't know what to do with their lives and they just provided materials for them and uh, ran a few workshops, but not to really indoctrinate them, just to show them the techniques involved. Uh -huh. And out of this grew this Oshopo School of Art that we still talk about today. Wow. And I have how, how do you to... spell that word? Oshopo, well, there's two spellings. One is O-S-O-B-O, -O, or there can be a G in it, O-S, and sometimes O-S-H, O-G. B O Oshopo. Okay, Oshopo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So so Sounds I have got some yeah. so called first generation artists of yes. this art movement yes. like Twin Seven Seven and Jacob Bafulabi, Rufus Ogundele, some of them you see around here in this room. And uh, and of course many others as well of the, the later generation. The first generation it means the pioneers of the yeah. movement. Yeah. 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 Which began Sort of in the in the sixties, yes. nineteen sixties, yes. And would this be, be because of uh, Frank? No, that is no. in Zimbabwe. Okay, we talked okay, about Frank. Okay. That is in Zimbabwe. This okay. was uh, these two Europeans, Uli Bayer, Susanne Wenger, and then. Um, oh, they influenced the they local influenced, well, artists. Yes, yes. I mean, I there was another uh, woman because Uli Bayer. Then you know, as I said, Susanne Wenger went local. And they split up this of um, Uli Bayer and Susanne Wenger and, and she got involved with the Yoruba uh, people. And then there was a, another woman um, whose name escapes me right now. <laughs> right, right. But she also ran workshops, another German lady. And German. Yes. yes. And she ran workshops, as I said, just providing the tools and showing techniques. Of course. And they so did etch, uh, etching, they did painting watercolors. Uh, Ger Ger Germany did have a a state in Africa. I'm not quite sure oh, which country. Oh yes, but that wasn't uh, in, in Nigeria. But they have a lively, you know, like the English Council, the the the, the Goethe Institute. Is, oh, Goethe is very yes. instrumental. That one gets in, around. In, yes, 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 in organizing exhibitions and cultural exchanges and movies. And so yes, on. yeah. So they would have been involved, I'm sure. Mm. So and then and then Uli Bayer had contacts with with uh, ab abroad with Germany though they had organized exhibitions initially in Germany and then it spread to many other countries and they've traveled and many of them are now actually living in Santa Fe I've, I found out in, in, in uh, wow yes in Santa Fe they have, they have emigrated to America and living in Santa Fe creating art there but also you know taken up other professions so. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Oh, well, we'll come on to the sculpture in part three. All oh, right. Okay, but uh, how long did you stay in uh, well, in this area? Did well, you actually few, spend time? Only a few months at a time, not long. Uh, and how many times have you been? Well, originally it was just visiting the family, and then the second time I went out, second and third time, I went out with a view of buying. Yes, so in yes. fact it transformed your life because you realised that uh, you could help uh, uh, the artists and also mm -hmm. make a make a business yes, absolutely. at the same time and bring mm -hmm. culture back to were, were you living in Brighton at yes, that time? Yes, I was already living in Brighton by then yes. Right, and you do the open, the open house? houses, yes since, yes. The, since the house lends itself to a display oh, definitely. of uh, you know, art and sculpture. Yes, and I'll, I'll walk around it uh, yes. in, in one of the other yes, tranches. Because we've got these terraced gardens as yes. you know Yes. And so we have displays everywhere. Of and the sculpture, well yes. And so on. Yes. Okay, well, we'll come back in part three. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you.